All right. Lil Nas X is the funniest nigga in the world. <laughs> Sorry for an abrupt change, but I that nigga is, is hilarious. He's talented. He's he's talented. He's a troll and he's hilarious. This nigga going this nigga gonna tweet, no lie, I miss pussy now. <laughs> <laughs> nigga almost threw my phone. You missed the pearl? You didn't got you didn't got all these homophobic niggas so mad and then you tweet you missed the pearl. It's like nigga that it's it's just like some some Larry David shit. Like it's some it's some it's some Gerard Carmichael yeah, yeah. shit. It's like, bruh, this is trolling on a whole nother level to where you like Y'all, y'all niggas is weird for being this invested in the sexuality, especially somebody's own. So is he creating the brand around fluidity now? Is that what is is that is that what we trying to build for him? Is that, is I, that what is he doing? I don't know what he got going on. I just I'm just invested as a fan Yo. because the nerve, the absolute nerve, bro, to go to have to have like Nick. Niggas is going out their way. Vlad, 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 and these other platforms have made a business structure out of having people come up and and voice their displeasure about Little Nas X. Like people go out of their way to go talk about him, so he's driving conversation. Mm-hmm. And we're talking about the heel. Yeah. The business of being the heel is big business because yeah. it's all because it's all about impressions. Yeah. Uh, and oh, I'll let you finish it. I'll say in the in the spirit realm of impressions, I nigga, I don't y- y'all y'all talking about right or wrong. I just need you to be talking about it. Mm-hmm. Y'all talking about hate or love? Guess what? I just need you to be talking about it. I don't give a fuck what you the dis the like button the dislike YouTube YouTube showed me that. Yeah, yeah. nigga got a hundred thousand likes. 16 dislikes and lose his mind over the dislikes. Now you got a hundred thousand likes. What are you mad about the dislikes for? Oh. Now you start seeing videos where the dislikes and the likes are like neck and neck, and that person is leveraging that shit. Yep. The Trump administration showed us that shit. Yay has Yay has showed us that. Well, know who else showed us that? Hmm. Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon. McMahon. Absolutely. He said, "I can find a million baby face hmm. but it takes sometimes year for me to find one great hill one great hill yeah and he said that great hill and one if i find him in one year the things he will do for my industry <sighs> is way more than any great baby face could do in six years bro That's so crazy it's a, it's a, it's a it's a insane business model but it's so it's so synonymous with with uh, with american culture they 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 can't hate they can't hate you if it's no love there if it's no absolute obsession and admiration where you nigga you know how important you know how valuable your bandwidth and your time is to sit around and the to have twitter fingers over something you hate i've always laughed at that the um the woke the woke bay niggas that was gatekeeping the the art scene for for a minute who i who i fought for this shit being fucked up. Not the street niggas, not the hyphy movement. It was the woke niggas. They had all day to sit around and type about what they didn't fuck with as opposed to writing, typing about what, and showcasing what they did. Yeah. Hip-hop ain't never been dead. Yeah. R&B ain't never been dead. Great music ain't, great art ain't never been dead. Niggas just was so infatuated about talking about what they didn't like, yeah. they didn't realize that they was taking viewership and platform away from the things that they would have deemed of quality. Yeah. So who's to blame for that? You hate the hyphy movement so bad, my nigga, then tweet about the niggas who's counter to that, if that, if if that's really what you want. Cause they, because they existed. You just chose not... Nigga, Mo Green was happening at the same time that HBK was happening, so if you had a beef with it, there's your counter to it, yeah. but you chose to just sit around and talk about what you didn't like. That's on you. Yeah. And the same thing is happening going forward. So when you see Lil Nas X come out and troll people behind shit that don't have nothing to do with nothing, yeah. it's the it's the business model of the heel. Yeah. It, it's 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 I just fi- I find it funny. So no, then, no, I've, <laughs> I I think it's it, it it's wild and yeah the fact that people are able to now figure out ways to monetize on it. It just shows you that content is king. Right. You got to keep making it. 
if you can remove your personal feelings from it right and do it you it could be a win and because people are going to bring their emotions to it and the the best at doing it um are able to recognize like any conversation is good for them right me personally i don't know if i could do something like that but i respect the hell out of creatives that can do it that can take it there yeah yeah man 